What's up, Insiders? We were back with yet another list video for you, and we have our expert, your favorite. Welcome back, Todd. Thank you. We Good to be you. here. <laughs> Today, we will be talking about the top four tips and tricks for using Google Trends to help out with your YouTube channel. So, What's Google Trends? What is Google Trends? Go to trends.google.com and it is all sorts of useful data about what is going on uh, with essentially what the internet is searching for. On Google and on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So what would, start off at the top, what would our first tip be? So I think the first tip is to see what's trending. So you just, you go to trends.google.com, you know, the, the page there already highlights some trends that are happening around the world. It, it does change depending on what country you're in. I was just looking at it today. I saw Halloween is trending in the United States along with some uh, American football stuff. But if yep. you look at um, the UK, uh, Wimbledon is trending along with Brexit stuff. So by looking at the overall trending page, you can get some broad sense of what people are searching for around the world. Now, some of this may relate to the types of content you do on your channel yep. some of it may not i mean we're we're not here to say like go off and do a wimbledon video <laughs> just because if it has nothing to yeah. do with your current content strategy your viewers are not necessarily going to to dig that but but you fits, might get inspired by one of those themes yeah. being relevant to you um so that's that's the first place to start is just looking at the general trends um the next thing I would say, number two, is to dig in around your particular vertical. Yeah. Yep. So um, this will make it more relevant to your channel. I know you have a gaming channel. Yep. You mentioned you do this sometimes for your yeah, channel. Yeah, so I, I actually use Google Trends all the time for my gaming channel, trying to figure out sort of within my niche vertical of playing video games on the internet, uh, do a lot of searches for upcoming games, trying to understand which games are more popular than other games and seeing, hey, if the world is generally more interested in this game versus this game, maybe I should tailor my content more to playing that one. Yeah, so we were looking earlier today at uh, Fortnite and Minecraft. <laughs> the and... great debate of Minecraft v. Fortnite. Yes, and I was surprised to see that Minecraft recently uh, emerged and surpassed it's, it's Fortnite back again, yep. even though it's the older game. You never know when a trend's going to reemerge unless you check Google Trends, and then you know. Ah! Uh -huh. I see what you did there. The third tip that I think we're going to talk about yeah. is um, you can select whether or not you're looking at Google search or YouTube search. Yeah. So it's a good idea to maybe go into your traffic sources in the Studio Beta analytics. Yep. See, are you getting much from Google search versus yep. versus YouTube search? Yeah. I think most channels get a lot more from YouTube than Google. But they do, but I've seen some interesting things in, in my data. So I do mostly gaming, but every now and then I do these sort of weird oddball tech videos on the side. And those tend to be more how-to focused. And those videos specifically get a lot of traffic coming from Google search. And so I use Google Trends mostly, to, and I filter down to YouTube search terms. That's what I use more to, to help me with my gaming content strategy. But for those videos that I feel like are going to be more broadly appealing, mm -hmm. that's when I will open it back up and go out to the Google search. Right. So you select, play around with it. Um, you can often get different insights from different ones. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, so then uh, I think the fourth tip we want to talk about is digging in on the related queries. Um, yeah, so once, once, yeah. You have, once you've picked a term that you've searched for, there's all sorts of information on the page, and one of those boxes is related queries about that topic. Have you had any uh, interesting experiences with that on your channel? <laughs> um, it's, more, it's more I have, I have a question for you, Todd. Yes. What, say say I want to make a video about a particular topic and so I search for it in Google Trends I've already made up my video and I'm ready to I'm getting ready to publish the video what I would be tempted to do is go into Google Trends search for the topic of my video take a look at related YouTube search queries and strategically put some of those keywords into my title my thumbnail my description to hopefully have my video rank for all sorts of queries that are generally related to the video. Generally. Yeah, really. what do you think about that? I, I think it really depends on how related to the video it is. Like, anybody can go out there and say, oh, well, I know PewDiePie is really popular, so I'm going to put his name in my description. 
Yep. Um, <laughs> that may help you show up in search once or twice, but odds are if your video is not actually delivering on anything related to PewDiePie in a way that people looking for that are actually going to be happy with it, um, the system's going to learn that pretty quickly, mm -hmm. and that's what's going to matter a lot more than whether it's in the title or description. So I would, I would say that there, there's no real shortcut there to, uh, to increasing your traffic unless you can actually deliver on it in your video. So yeah. I would encourage you to use it more as you're planning your content and identifying what related concepts there are to actually create videos around. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, putting it in your title description is a great best practice because then people will know what your video is about and it's a good match between what they think it's about and what it's actually delivering. And that, that tends to work a lot better than just throwing a bunch of uh, <laughs> popular terms in there. We've said on here quite a bit that uh, you know we're following what the audience yes. um, tells us. Yeah. And so I like that. I like using related queries as a way for you to say, oh, hey, I could do actually a couple of different videos to hit each one of these queries. Yeah. Now you get it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, short and sweet from us. Those are our top four tips for using Google Trends to help out with your YouTube channel. If you have other tips and tricks for how you have used it, please, please do drop them down below in the comments because we want to learn from you uh, for this. So thank you for coming to hang out with us. Happy to be here. If you want to see more videos with Todd, what should they do? Like the video. Yes. Comment and subscribe to the channel turn on that bell if you want every single upload from which the you channel. obviously do yes <laughs> no pressure we'll see you guys in the next video bye one more thing before we go i wanted to see who wins tom versus barbara yeah i got this if you restrict it down to our full names i got this bye <laughs>